Oh, hi, Firefighter Kyle. How are you? I'm great, Firefighter Bobby. How are you today, man? Good. I was wondering if I could get a tour. Well, I tell you what. Come right on in, and I'm going to give you the first class tour of the Chatham Fire Department. Sure. Bar. Come on in, guys. We're here on the front of the building, uh, basically our front door where you come in. And here we have, as you can see, one of our guys fully packed out and geared up like we would look, like Bobby showed you, uh, if we were going to a fire. Also has a fire extinguisher there by him popular tool of the fire service. And then here we have some of our older uh, equipment that we used to use and pagers and radios. Uh, just so you guys can kind of see uh, how we've progressed through the years. With technology getting better and better. Uh, here's where we have our conference room where uh, the bosses work and keep everything rolling for us. And then here is the heart and soul of the Chatham Fire Department, Kashima. Kashima, say hi to everybody. So if we ever need anything, this is where we come. She can get it done. Isn't that right, Cash? Absolutely. All right. Chatham, thanks you. We'll come through here. We'll show you the shift offices where all the guys uh, check our email, get updates from the chief. Here we have three computers. We have three shifts here at the Chatham Fire Department. So each lieutenant, a guy who's in charge of each shift, has their own desk and computer. And then we all use this computer over here, like I said, to check our emails, do online uh, trainings. And speaking of training, right through here we have our training room. This is where we have guest speakers come in, maybe from the hospital if they're doing a medical training for us, an EMS training. Uh, we have fire trainings in here too as well if we're doing some online uh, videos or watching YouTube videos uh, they can be educational uh, just like this one is. Uh, if we come through here we'll continue through the tour. It's kind of set up just like a classroom so we still have to like I said keep up with education. Just when you graduate high school and college you think you're done? Not quite. So right through here a lot of guys favorite part of the firehouse is the kitchen where we eat, share meals together, uh, it's basically just kind of a regular kitchen, just a little bit bigger, with some commercial appliances in it. And here's a custom-made table we had done. Uh, one of the guys put this together for us on the apartment, so it looks really nice. We like to keep it nice and clean. Then out here we do have a grill that we use on occasion when it's nice out, like days like this. So sometimes we spend a little time out here, or the guys will, will all chip in and get some props or. If steaks are on sale, maybe we'll get a steak. I don't know. Kind of nice to sit outside though sometimes, just like you do at your house. And then we try to all eat together, but sometimes calls get in the way, so we need to, uh, we'll just kind of eat when we can, as far as that goes. Uh, refrigerator, we're all good. Keep our food when we bring it in. Uh, we're here 7A to 7A, so. A lot of guys have breakfast here, lunch and dinner, so we gotta have a place to store all of our food. We usually try to eat together too. Uh, as far as lunch, we all eat together and then we try to all have dinner together. If we're not eating the same thing, then we'll at least eat together at the same time. Uh, we'll come through here, we'll show you where our officers hang out. Oh, we got a couple guys here. It's Chief Rose. He's one of our fine division chiefs of training right there. Say hi, Chief Rose. Hi, everybody. All right. <laughs> He's hard at work, sweating today, getting after it. So and here's where those officers I was talking about earlier, they stay in here. Uh, this is their uh, bunk room, so their bed's pulled out of the wall just like ours. Uh, we'll come down here, we'll show you our day room where we hang out when we're relaxing after five o'clock. Uh, watch the news, hang out, maybe we're watching a TV series together or something, but we all have a bunch of recliners in here so we can kind of hang out and relax for a little downtime, shoot the breeze together. TV on the wall there too. And then next I'll show you where we sleep. You guys saw where Bobby was sleeping when we when I tucked him in the other night. So if you come in here, you turn these lights on so you can kind of see what's going on here now. Bobby's bed's still down, but I'll show you where I sleep. Shout out to my Cub fans out there. Got to represent. Hopefully we'll see the Cubs this year. At least beat the Cardinals once or twice. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but like I said, the bed's all full up in the walls, and when we get ready to leave in the morning, we keep the room nice and tidy before the next shift comes in, and they can have a fresh start to their day. Uh, right now, we'll go show you our gear, where we store all our gear when we're not on shift, uh, and where some of the other guys store their gear. 
when it's not in use and where we clean it off. Back down by cheaper again. Yeah. So this is the gear room through here. And it's just been remodeled and you, uh, we kind of modeled it after our engines. Our engines and trucks are all white with red stripes. So went with white walls and a red stripe for our shells. Uh, as you can see, some of the helmets are yellow and some are black. The black ones are, are full-time and uh, full, mem full member volunteer guys. So after you're here for a year, you go from a yellow helmet to a black helmet once you get kind of that experience down. Um, my stuff used to be here, but since I'm on shift right now, it's out by the angle it's with bodies. Uh, his stuff's out there, so if you see spots that are missing, that's you guys are on shift. Uh, let's see, let me show you the laundry room because, well, this is a working fire station and it's just like your house. So, yep, we got laundry machines. We do laundry, we mop floors, we keep things clean. Need to fold a little laundry, I'll get that done as soon as we get done shooting this video so the chief doesn't find out and get mad at me. Uh, so we'll come through out here, uh, and then in our next shot, Firefighter Bobby's going to take you through what's behind these doors. So guys, remember to stay safe, wash your hands, keep your social distancing going, it's working. Uh, have a great day, and we're going to see you in the next video. See you guys.